Yo, what up, what up? This is your boy King Series straight from Busy Home Beats. And in today's video, I'm going to show you how to mix your vocal to sound professional, like a whiskey type of vibe or banner boy type of vibe. You understand? Yeah, so just stay with me, and you actually love this kind of song right here. So, um, and after this video, to the next video that I'm actually going to post will be how to make sure that your sound or your vocals cut through the mix ad, as they use that term cut through the mix i mean balanced with the beat whereby you wouldn't see that your beat is somewhere and your vocals too is somewhere it will sit properly in the mix okay that will be the next video but this time around we'll show you how to get this kind of whiskey type of sound and all those so let's listen to the song with the effect on it then i will solo it then explain one or two, uh, two things to you and we move on so listen <music> Series beat, come on. Baby, yo, only me, only me, where they fight them. Say you jam on now, move back and them. See, can I buy a no more than them? You see my future, so they won't condemn. Only me, only me, where they fight them. Say you jam on now, move back and them. See, can I buy a no more than them? You see my future, so they won't condemn. Mention I miss them. It's in the bachelor, baby. Try put me down by me, chinem. Okay, so that's the song. The um, yesterday somebody uh, contacted me and said the mix that I posted was all that. So I said that was a bad vocals recorded. You understand? So if you have bad vocals recorded, no matter how good or professional you are, you wouldn't be able to make it sound um good professional. You understand? Yeah. But if your vocals are recorded well, it has been recorded properly. You do one or two things if you understand how to mix um, all your effects and what you really want to use it for you can actually get to where you really want to be try so yesterday i was trying to change those bad um bad vocal recording um i mean make it sound professional with um my mixing techniques and stuff so at least it was quite good um can be played on radio yes but it's not all that professional like it was so just bear with me on that so this time around you can actually hear that it sound good nice and it can be played everywhere and um, so this is how i make this song so without the effect on it um this is how it sounds without the effect let me just mute the beat too so this is how it sounds mm -hmm. mm -hmm. Give yo, only me, only me, where they fight them. Say you jam on now, more back and them. See, can I buy a no more better than them? They see my future, so they won't condemn. Only me, only me, where they fight them. Say you jam. So you can see that the vocal is actually clean, right? So what I have on it right now is only the auto tune and um, the gate to block the background noises. You understand? So after that, the next thing that I actually did here is um, EQ win, and even I did not even take away some of the frequencies. Um, with the uh, from the mid side and uh, only the uh, low frequency that's what i actually um took out and um the next thing is compression this is how i did compress the song um the vocals here so ratio of 2.26 and threshold of minus 2 2.3 then fast attack of fast release and i pushed the gain because i was losing some kind of energy in it yes. and um i eq'd it again I EQ the low ends and all the highs also, yes. So with this, just three plugins. This is how it sound now. Just uh, bypasses for you to see the difference now. Give yo, only me, only me, where they fight them. Say you jam on now, more back and them. Say can I buy a no more better than them? They see my future, so they won't condemn. Only me, only me, where they fight them. Say you jam on now, more back and them. Say can I buy a no more. So you can actually tell the difference, right? Yes, if you are using your phone, you wouldn't notice it well, but in the speakers or uh, in studio headset, you you actually hear it well. So. You can see that when I just take it off, it become muddy. But when I just, I mean, um, put it on, then everything becomes clean. So the next thing is, I did compress it and bring the volume to up a bit so that you could actually um balance with the beat a little. It's not about for you for your vocals to cut through the mix. It's not about the volume level of it. A little secret that you're supposed to know. So in my next video when I'm posting um posting about vocal mixing i'm going to teach you that one so that you could actually 
um, get away with that kind of um, I mean struggle that you have been struggling with. You be so sometimes you you lower your volume of your vocals and still it will it sound like your beat is overshadowing your vocal. Sometimes to you raise up your vocal the volume of the vocals and it will sound like the vocals is you just try to do an error and still it doesn't work. So it's just one or two things that you're supposed to know there and I'm actually going to show you. Um I've had a whole lot of problem with my studio here, so that's why I've not been posting and even I'm not even on WhatsApp now, so enough of that. So you can just chat me on Facebook and you could actually link up and see whatever goes there. So with this plugin on it, this how it sounds. Mm KV yo, holy me, holy me, where they fight them. Say you jam on now, mo be cancel. Say can't buy ya no mo be dan them. They see my future, so they won't condemn. Okay, so the next thing is DS. I know the work of DS, right? So this idea is minus nineteen point four. And the next thing is reverb. This is the reverb that I'm actually using over here. Um, I like this reverb a lot. So this is how it sounds with the reverb and everything here, with the exception of my reverb synth understand yes i use this just to create sp uh, space for it here then before i just move on you can just use one reverb or two three it depends on how you want to feel it mm -hmm. holy me holy me where they fight them say you jam on now i'm over cancer say can i buy i no more better than them they see my future so they won't condemn holy me holy me where they fight them say you jam on now i'm over cancer say can i buy i no more better than them nice one so you could actually understand and see all these ones so there is space there now so with the beats now listen Baby, yo, holy me, holy me, where they fight them. Say you jam on now, I'm over cancer. Say can I buy a no more better than them? They see my future, so they won't condemn. Holy me, holy me, where they fight them. Say you jam on now, I'm over cancer. Say can I buy a no more better than them? They see my future. Okay, so this is my reverb. My reverb to just Vahala reverb. Yes, Vahala reverb, and this is the settings on it, right? Yeah, then. My delay from waves plugin. This is the settings on it. Then I just uh, do send. I sent it to the vocals here. So we have this minus 18, then um, the delay of one minus 20. So because I put the reverb straight on it like this and lower the volume, that's why I actually didn't do too much of the reverb here. You understand? It doesn't matter that this is the setting you're supposed to copy. What matters is um you're supposed to know how you want to do you want to hear your reverb or you want to feel it it depends so just go ahead and make those decisions for yourself don't copy the setting but understand how everything works over there so that's what i wanted to show you in my next video i'm going to show you how to make sure that your vocals cut through the mix and it is balanced you get, you get it your vocals is sitting um inside the beat and everything is sounding good and clean so this is a boy can see straight from busy home beat chat me on facebook and then um, we could link up with any kind of stuff there. So I'm out.